SSH is a protocol for creating secured connections between network devices. When used to log into a remote system, it connects by default over port 22. Unlike Telnet, which uses port 23 and plain text authentication, SSH uses encrypted authentication. An SSH client is typically used to remotely control a system running an SSH server. The two main versions of Secure Shell are SSH1 and SSH2. Version 1 was invented in 1995 by Tatu Yulonen, a researcher at Helsinki University of Technology, Finland. It was intended as a replacement for the unencrypted and unsafe Telnet. Version 2 was developed by the Internet Engineering Task Force and officially adopted in 2006. It improved vulnerabilities in SSH1 by implementing the Diffie-Hellman key exchange between client and server. We've looked at um, using Telnet, but Telnet poses a security risk because it uses unencrypted authentication. And if someone were using packet capturing software, they could pretty much grab your passwords easily with Telnet. Um, so Telnet's an option, but a better option might be Secure Shell. And I'm just going to do sudo to install it. Uh, apt-get install. And you can do ssh, and there's open ssh, and open. And there's several flavors of Secure Shell out there, but I'm just going to do this particular version here. And I'll just say yes, and yes. And I'll need to reboot, and the first time I run this, I'll try to generate a key pair. But just to test it out, um, you know, what this will do is this will pretty much allow me to remotely control or log in, at least get a command prompt log. And it's not like using RDP or using DNC or anything. I don't get like the graphical X one in there. But um, I can, you know, pretty much anything I can do from a command prompt locally on the machine, I can log in from a, another host somewhere else on the network and do the same thing. And it will be encrypted and protected against prying eyes on, you know, a public network. So just to test that out, it's been installed, and it's going to tell me, I, you know, the first time it's going to warn me because it's the first time I've run it. There's no key for it, but I'm just going to try the loop back here. One two seven zero zero one. Test it out. And I'm sure you want to continue connecting. And I'm going to say yes. Um, and of course, you know, it's just me. I trust myself, but. Okay, and so now if I were on a remote system, basically I would log in via console, so now it's encrypted, and I can use any user account on that system and a password that's you know that has been enabled for secure shell access and remotely administer that system. When I'm done, I would just hit exit, and I would leave, and that would put me back in in my local system. So it's a nice tool for remotely administering, you know, at least as far as command prompt uh, activities and things that you might want to do remotely across the network.